and welcome back to my channel. Um, next to me is my best friend, Sosa. Hi, how you <laughs> um, so today we're going to do the best friend tag for you today and today we're actually in um, Prospect Park. We thought it would be nice to record outside. You can see our faces. You can see our faces and you can <laughs> feel the sun with us because my last video was outside so I just thought I'll keep the trend going and you know embrace summer now. Em embrace the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Yo you guys there's like these little gnats everywhere and they're just like I have on lip gloss and when they fly into your lip and they get, get stuck, stuck on your lip. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. But anyways, here we go. <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not cutting that out. Okay. okay. Alright, here we go. So how did we meet? That's question number one on this thing. Okay, I will tell you that we met in high school. It was freshman year. I do not know how we came across each other. I remember. We, we I met you through Lania. We needed another person to do Jam Cafe. And then we went to rehearsal. Okay, so okay, Jam Cafe, <laughs> Jam Cafe is a show that our high school did. It was like the first kind of variety talent show, yeah. um, and it was our first show freshman year. So we had two of our, Lania and Aaliyah danced. Me, Asosa, our friend Cheyenne, and Daphne, Daphne sung, and we sung Real Love. And as freshmen, that's how we got our name in the school. We performed yeah. in Jam Cafe, so that's how we met. Cause so, we were jamming. <laughs> we were amazing. <laughs> what is your favorite memory together? You go first. Recently, I, I have to say um, last year's summer. I feel like we got closer then. Mm -hmm. um, I lived with her during the summer, yeah. so I think that was the best time because we became closer as like my sister slash best friend. Yeah. Would be during senior year, and we have this thing in our school called Morrow Bowl. And during Morrow Bowl, Morrow Bowl is like our school's, like it's for the seniors, it's a senior activity. And it was um, kind of like this Olympic triathlon kind of thing. You gather teams. I'm not sure, I think you'd have like, it was a good like It was a good 11 of us on our team. But between junior year and senior year, we had kind of not fallen apart, but like our, our, our ways of living kind of went separate because I was on senior council yeah. and she was, you know, always doing something. I was always doing something. This was the first time we were able to come together and just rekindle everything. And you what know, I'm trying like to along say. along the years, you with the friends. Yeah, so, it, yeah. Murrow Bowl, I think, was the start of it, um, getting back to where it used to be. And I just remember nothing but laughs that day, like to the point where, yeah, like, your crazy. belly is just <laughs> bursting. And that's the best kind of, that was, that's probably my best thing. Okay, so okay. memory number two, okay. we were in her house, it was when I was living with her, and I farted on her when, we're not looking at the dog, okay, and I farted on her while she was sleeping, and it was the ultimate battle She's ever. disgusting, okay? So, that, because her, her face, it was hilarious, like, I think those have to be the two. She's a little boy, I'm sorry. Describe each other in one word. I have my word. I have my word. I have my word. Poised. Poised. I'm so loud and obnoxious sometimes and it's nice to have a friend to like balance it out you know she's the reason why I can behave in public <laughs> she's she the reason why I know to turn down sometimes like I find my chill and I hold on because I'm crazy <laughs> I'm crazy that's one word I'm crazy okay what's your dream job OBGYN I want Juliana Rancic's job. Point blank period. I want either Terrence did. I need to replace one of you. So if you're watching this, just know. <laughs> I'm looking out. <laughs> Question number five. Ooh. What's your favorite makeup brand? They assumed that I'm girls was still doing experimenting this. with this whole makeup thing. But so far, between Maybelline, the small little jar. Dark cocoa number three. Oh, you're okay. Okay. That one and um, well, just that one for now. Revlon. Still My favorite brand overall has to be NYX or NYX. Some people say NYX. Some people say NYX. I, think it's just NYX. I say NYX, but some people. It was some people say NYX. It doesn't, I don't know, but NYX is my favorite just because I'm obsessed with lip glosses. What is something that, <laughs> what is something that annoys you about the other person? I stress her out all the time. <laughs> what about hungry? <laughs> always hungry. 
I told you guys in my last video I like food. You guys, thought, you guys thought I was lying. I really Always like food. Hungry. People, it's, it's like on a. You have to have a stockpile for this girl because she's gonna. She needs to run on like two years of food. Oh my god, I'm so because sorry. It used to be tacos. She was obsessed with. Subways is a new thing I now. I love tacos. <laughs> I still love tacos. Tacos has never no, left. Like now so my obsessions bad. are plantains. I love so or plantain. plantain. How people. Guyanese people pronounce it <laughs> or Chinese. Plantain. Um, applesauce. And that too. Applesauce and dulce de leche ice cream by Hagen Doss. What annoys me about Asosa is that every time I call her, she's always in the bathroom. I can call Asosa and I could really. I you could have really to take need, your morning. No, <laughs> no. I could really need her for something. And I call her and she's in the toilet. I mean, when you gotta go, you gotta go. She has to go every time I call. It's been like this <laughs> for years. To if, uh, if my friend Aaliyah or Sedani is watching, comment down below. Comment and, and second me because they know what I'm talking about. I would call and her little brother would pick up the phone. Hello. Hey, where's the Sosa? In the toilet. <laughs> every time. Every time. I could be dying and my one phone call is to a Sosa and I will die because she'll be in the toilet. If you could go anywhere in the world together, where would it be and why? Just the whole of Europe would be great. Because, I mean, we're in, we're in the process of planning to go on the other side of the US, but I feel like Europe is... Um, Barcelona was my number one. So. I cannot speak Spanish. I'd be struggling. <laughs> I'm still taking Spanish in college, and I'm so... And my ex was Spanish. It my other best friend is Spanish. Spanish. Hola. I'm English. <laughs> I don't even care. As long as, it's, as long as it's warm, I think that's my preference. I wouldn't even really care because I know wherever we go, we just have fun. So I don't think it'll really even matter, but I just really wanna, um, I just really would like it to be warm. Oh. The tree has been, has been pelting these at us. And it just hit my arm like it jiggled my whole fat. Next question. <laughs> Next question, here we go. Favorite inside joke. Oh my god, I have mine. Wait. Oh my god, okay. So yeah, we would we would okay, so our friend Aaliyah, every time we would see somebody with holes in their shirt. <laughs> every time <laughs> Okay. Every time our friend Aaliyah would do this, she's the only other person that understood this, and our friend Lania. Um Every time she made up this little rap about her conclusion about people having holes in their shirt, right? So she would just go. <laughs> Rats in the house. Rats in the house. Show me so dirty. Got a rats in the house. And she would come to her own conclusion that because the person had holes in their shirt, rats must have nibbled on it. So they must be disgusting because they they harbor rats in their home. Or it'll be like if we see somebody cute, we mm -hmm. hold our titty. That too. <laughs> and it's always the left. It's always yes. the left. Now, I'm never, just, it's never the right. It's oh, never the right. It's just. Or like we'll be like, girl. Mm, mm. Um, You're not making out. Um. Oh my well, God! There's this couple <laughs> right in front of us making out. Oh my God! We're like engulfing each other's faces. Oh my Jesus! Don't okay. Have sex in front of us, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, okay, I don't want them. They, they, I think I think I think I I think I made eye contact with the girl. Okay. Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? I, I was I was glad yeah. she admitted it. I'm really glad she admitted it. I's glad. I'm glad. We can just I move on. I take it. What's your favorite favorite season? She likes the warm. So I it has spring. to be spring. Spring. Yeah. Spring. Definitely spring. 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 Definitely spring. <laughs> she can answer this question. Heels or flats? Flats. For this one. Absolutely. Hands down. Flats. I'm trying to get her to wear heels. All right, let's one see step at a time. Because <laughs> she's she's 21 now, and I feel like as a woman, you need to step into some heels at a certain point. You know, like just one, just one. <laughs> Faith Not in me wedges, one day. heels. Okay. Listen, I feel like wedges is the platform. I like the support it gives, but you just need to step on some. Stuff wedges is the platform to lead me to something greater. You can't expect me to go from barefoot, cause that's what that's what flats are, barefoot to these big giant heels like this. You can't, you just can't. Like you're asking for too much, too much. <laughs> Pants or dresses? I love dresses. Yeah. Dresses. Oh, boy. It 
depends on how I feel. I like my crotch to feel free. <laughs> free. <laughs> Just free. Freedom. Freedom. That's really what it is. Like nothing is confining my 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 JJ. Nothing is confining it. Favorite animal? Monkeys for this one. Mm -hmm. Um, I like puppies. And we just do the cutest set of munchkins past us. I want a baby. I need a baby now. Silly dogs. We would walk in here and the amount of puppies we saw already, or at least min munchkin dogs, like small dogs. Yeah. Oh my god, this one having a whole fit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> having a whole fit. Like, I just. They're so small and cute. I don't understand. Okay. Uh, okay, 16. If you're. What kind what? of question? <laughs> if your house was burning down and your entire family was sure to be okay, what would you save and why? Oh, that's easy for me personally. I mean, me and my mom, we have a little safe where it can hold our passports, birth, con birth control. Wow. No, no. <laughs> I meant to say birth certificates. My mother is not on birth control. Oh my God. Cut, cut, cut. cut. My mother and I have a little safe um, where we keep our birth certificates, passports, social security cards, um, anything ir irreplaceable or, or would be hard to replace, we keep in there and we keep at least $200 at all times in there. Yeah, so, I have mine in a little, like, little bag. Somewhere. Someone That's is calling somewhere. me. If you guys know this number, tell them don't call me. I don't know who this is. Like, I'm not answering <laughs> you. Like, I don't know who that is. Like, what would you say? All of our stuff like that is in a little... A little bag. Bag, right? Yeah. Have stuffed in the bin somewhere. Yeah, I feel like everyone so. should have that. If you don't have that, I definitely recommend it. Keep some because type that's of... that's very, very important. We have like a literally... My mom invested like $500 in a fireproof safe. So even if the house was to burn down, that will remain. Comedy, horror, or chick flick? Comedy. I, like, I love comedy. Like, well, I just, when it comes to Tinkerbell... Oh my god, we have a thing. I, when I lived with her, we I developed our obsession <laughs> with Tinkerbell. We, we would like I go on Netflix. Tinkerbell. We've seen every All Tinkerbell movie. And every, we just watched the recent, recent one. <laughs> she called me. She every, call, yo, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> There's a new Tinkerbell movie on Netflix. Tinkerbell and the Never Beast. Go watch it. We are grown. <laughs> we, are, we, we consider to be grown women and we are obsessing over Tinkerbell. It's disgusting. We're going to make, make our boyfriends watch it. Like, You're going to watch it. Um, Blackberry or iPhone? IPhone. iPhone. Next question. IPhone. <laughs> favorite movie. What's your favorite, what's your favorite movie? I'm a horrible best friend. Uh, what is your I don't. Movie? I don't have one per se. The Lion King. Okay. Or the Lorax comes in a close second. Yes. <laughs> comes in a close second. I just like animation a lot. Mm -hmm. Um. Definitely. If I had to choose Lion King, it would be number one. Cause I know it's every Lion line. Like <laughs> and Shrek. All of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh I love Shrek. Accidentally in love. <laughs> All right, 20. What is something weird that you eat? I'm scared. Okay. So, I was in a predicament one last summer where I was having some serious cravings, right? And I wanted pickles. And I wanted Vlasic pickles. I was specific. Vlasic pickles but I wanted it with bread and peanut butter. And at the time, it was the most delicious thing no. <laughs> I've ever eaten. I hate at the it. time, I have never eaten it since that day, but I think that that's it. That's, that's it. Or I like calamari. Some people think that's I weird. Was, yeah, I ate that recently, and it was kind of weird. It was, it was different. It's only weird because you it know different. it's squid. Like, you know. No, and I knew after the fact I ate it. Oh, because I knew so, while eating it, and then I just ignored it. I was like, this it. is a shrimp. It's way too chewy. Okay, do you guys have anything matching? I currently stole her dress, so I guess... I'm still waiting on it. <laughs> I, I think that... I think... That that would be considered matching. Cause yeah, took cause, mother's. and I have my mother has the yeah, exact the same, same one, thing. and I thought I had my mother's when I realized I had both of them. She left this country with in my it. dress. Yeah, I went to Guyana. <laughs> I left the continent. <laughs> what is your favorite TV show? Empire. Empire and Blackish. Blackish. I have to rant about Blackish, okay? Because I don't think people give it enough credit. In a modern day, you don't see many black families anymore on television like that's just the don't on. you know the cosby's you know world family favorite, matters that's my a different show. world, a different world is, is my show like, but that's what i'm saying you don't you don't see those anymore yeah. and i think blackish is a nice 
way it's modern and it is the I think it's an accurate depiction of an average modern day middle class African American family. I just think it's and and then it addresses in a issues. funny way it addresses some stereotypical issues that that African American people kind of go through. So the whole whooping, you know, people always comment, oh yeah, you know, black women we just whoop their kids like not too long, like an hour or change ago, like about whoopings, like but they address it yeah. so so politically correct but at the same time so socially accurate in that show and certain things um the the coming of a man like they had one episode on that and then it's still it's still funny which oh, i doggy. which i which i think is is such a nice middle ground so blackish you go and tracy ellis ross tracy ellis, okay taraji p henson i said <laughs> you're my mother in my last video but also tracy ellis ross we, we here like <laughs> if you're not my real mother you're my aunt or my godmother yes. hands down just because i love you like we're related in some way <laughs> and you're Another, okay. one. Another, one. Another one! Another <laughs> one! Another one! Another one! And it hurts! Like when they fall. It feels like something's pricking your skin. Like it looks like a mini cactus. Oh my gosh! Anyways. <laughs> a bee just flew by the side of the iPad. I'm recording with my iPad and it just flew by. Okay, anyways. Okay. I um, In my next video, I will be. um. This month, before the month is over, I'm definitely going to try and do my June favorites. Um, I'm actually probably going to involve Asosa. She'll be in a lot of my videos. Her and my next year roommate, Jasmine, will be in a lot of my videos. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and do a monthly favorites um, video. And with a catch, monthly favorites that are under five bucks. Because, you know, we're all balling on a budget here. And everyone is going through their own little financial BS. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's nice to have something where it's nice and it's affordable. So, I'm going to be doing things like skincare products makeup everything under the sun but under five bucks so definitely going to be doing that and keep on the lookout for more of my introductory videos until next time y'all peace